When I was in my intro to grad school course, this was like a course that covered kind of what the program was, how to graduate, how to do research, things like that. I was sitting in there and the question came up, someone in the class posed the question of, do we need to publish? What if I can't publish a research article in the time here? And the answer from someone on the panel that was talking, these were like older grad students, was write a literature review. It's not that hard. And I think this this is a story that is told a lot. Like if you can't write a research article, just write a literature review. All the, the literature is out there, write a literature review and publish it. And what I think happens is this misleads a lot of early stage researchers into focusing on a literature review instead of focusing on a research because they think that their literature review is more likely to get published. And what actually is one of the best ways to go about this is to actually focus on your research when you are comfortable with the research then write a review and you're going to write that review faster you're going to write a better review than you ever could have written focusing on a review in this video i want to walk you through why you shouldn't write a literature review and this is probably against all the evidence out there of people saying well just write a literature review or when you're starting out in your research Focus on writing a literature refer literature review first and then write, then go into your research. Let's first start with who shouldn't write a literature review. Obviously, there are people out there that should write a literature review, but there are a very important group of people that I think focus on a literature review when they really shouldn't even be writing a literature review. So the people that shouldn't focus on writing a literature review, and this is specifically a literature review for publication to a journal, are people who haven't done research and haven't done research in the area that they're writing a literature review in. So if you're there sitting here and you're like, I haven't come up with a research idea, I haven't created a research article, I haven't written one, any of that, stop thinking about a literature review. Focus on creating a research project, getting a research idea, and writing a research article. Now, if you've submitted your research article and you're waiting for to hear back and things like that, okay, you can probably pivot and start working on writing a review if you want to. But if you haven't completed a project in this research field, you're going to have a much harder time understanding the articles that you're going to read for a literature review within the context of how does this actually work. When I started reading research articles, it was hard to know what was important because I didn't have the context for how this research was actually performed. Now I can read a research article and go, okay, this is important. These are the main themes that are coming out. Or, hey, this is probably why this article and this article disagree with each other because of this change in their method. This allowed this to change. When you don't have that actual experience going through it, it's going to be really hard to synthesize the literature together, to explain why two articles contrast with each other when it seems like they should have found similar findings. Whereas when you have that experience, you understand that, oh, just making this small t change in a solution actually results in all of these changes. You want to have that background understanding in the field. The other important part is that you, by focusing on writing a review, first of all, when you don't understand the research, it's going to take you far longer to write that review. And so focusing on writing that review in that timing is going to actually delay your research. And one example of this was actually a lab mate that I had um, within my graduate program. And this lab mate was really, really focused on writing this really comprehensive review on eye mobility. And they were really into eye mobility and they really neglected their research projects because they were like, I'm gonna write this great review on eye mobility. And ultimately they didn't have the experience because they weren't collecting research. They, they didn't have a successful research project in this space that they were writing things that really didn't make sense when you put it in the context of actually doing research in this field. And they were trying, they were spending all their time reading articles and trying to summarize the information from these articles that ultimately that person went from being a PhD student to dropping down to a master's to ultimately after three and a half years leaving with no degree and never publishing their review because their review was never going to meet the muster of a journal 
because there, it was clear that it was written by someone who didn't do research in the field, even though they could have done one to two research projects, had enough for a master's thesis or a PhD, and then written the review. And that's actually what I did. I wrote four or five research articles in steroids and eye mobility before I wrote and published my review on steroids and eye mobility. And I was able to write my review on steroids and eye mobility in like eight hours. Um, versus spending months and months and months writing a review because I, I don't know what I'm doing. Whereas like I knew the field of steroids and eye mobility, I could just sit down and write it. And so that difference, having that experience is gonna be really important to not only writing a good review, but efficiently using your time during your research journey. Whenever I say this, whenever I say stop writing reviews, I get a, a really strange comment to me, and that is, I'm so glad, or I wish I would have written my review earlier because once I wrote my review, I realized all of my ideas weren't novel. And it would have saved me so much time not pursuing these research ideas that weren't novel if I would have written my review earlier. And I find this so odd because writing a literature review and reviewing the literature are two different things. You should absolutely review the literature before you start a research project or write your research article or anything like that. Reviewing the literature is going through and looking for reviews, looking for the research that's been done, understanding the state of your field as of right now. And if you want a really good system for being able to do that, you can download my 30 day research jumpstart guide. One of the first things we do is talk about go and find reviews, go and find research articles. And we even talk about how to find novel ideas and then make sure like go and look at the literature to make sure it is actually a novel idea. And if you don't have that system, system of reviewing the literature, getting an idea, re-reviewing the literature, all of these things. If you're not doing that, then yes, you're going to spend a lot of time and energy pursuing ideas that aren't novel. As I have actually done, this is why I created this system for myself to make sure that I don't pursue that in the future. So every researcher needs to review the literature to understand what has been done, to be able to develop novel ideas to be able to make sure that they're novel ideas and to understand the methods in their field. That is really important to do. And that might be the basis that you may eventually write your literature review on, like I did. I reviewed the literature, I came up with research ideas, I did the research, and then ultimately I wrote a literature review that both include the literature I had reviewed early on and the literature that I had published. So I was able to write a review and my review included like three or four of my own research articles in it. Yes, you need to review the literature, but then taking that extra time, taking that extra step of going, okay, I reviewed the literature, now let me write a literature review. That is a really big gap and a lot of work, especially if you don't know the research well, to sit there and outline a literature review and write the literature review and find the journal that you're gonna publish in, write it for that journal and submit it to that journal. That's a lot of time. And I see people take three, four, six months to a year spending all that time writing a literature review when ultimately they're gonna have a really hard time publishing that literature review because it didn't, it's not coming from the experience and the value that a researcher provides. I think this is a lot of reasons why people are like, let AI write my literature review. And AI is not gonna write a great literature review because it again doesn't have that experience from actually doing the research. So what should you do instead? If you're one of the people that I said you shouldn't write a literature review, you might go what should I do instead? So step one, download my 30 day research jumpstart guide. It's going to walk you through how to review the literature so that you're not reading hundreds of papers. You're going to read a really small amount. It's about six to nine papers initially to start generating ideas. Then you're going to review, make sure those ideas are novels, re-review the literature for that. Once you have have your set of ideas, start developing a research project, and then start working on that research project and publish a research article in the field. This is also really great because now you have an article that you can cite in your literature review. A literature review is about establishing expertise in the field. My literature review was actually the easiest reviewer feedback. It was a minor review and I think I had to like add one image or something like that into it. And in my review, it basically said like, this comes from the lab that's considered one 
one of the the foremost researchers in the field I had not only could I cite my own papers but I was already seen as an expert in the field and my literature review just allowed me to submit that expertise whereas when you are not someone in the field and you're writing this literature review it's not helping you with those same goals because your literature review is just all on other people's work and I see a lot of people that get their literature reviews consistently rejected and then they spend a lot of time trying to tweak it when it keeps getting rejected where if they would just spend time in their research it would be different download my guide complete and publish a research project and then after you've published one to three papers I would say then you can look at writing a literature review in order to be able to actually share your expertise and be able to show that expertise so if you are currently focused on writing a literature review and inst and you have not published a paper, you're not working on a research project, highly recommend downloading my 30 day jumpstart guide. I will leave a video up here on how to get started to find research gaps and to find research ideas for you to then be able to pursue. You can go ahead and click that video there to get started in finding your next research idea today.